What's going on guys? Welcome to It's Own Rally. Sorry about the mess in my room or whatever. So today's Saturday and you guys know what that means. I said in the last video that painting videos were going to be done on Saturdays. So today I have a painting video only I don't have any canvases. So I can't do a real painting thing but I thought of a funny idea. Now if any of you guys know there's this thing called Microsoft Paint and it's kind of the dumbest thing that you have on your computer where you just like can paint stuff and I'll show you guys what it is uh, it's kind of difficult to draw anything good on it but I'm gonna try and replicate a Bob Ross painting tutorial I'm gonna be using my you know my paint so that's how we're gonna be doing it we're gonna be using Microsoft paint to paint a masterpiece so I hope you guys do enjoy this video and leave a subscribe and a comment and like the video my eyebrows are moving everywhere all right guys here's my laptop sorry I don't have a screen recorder so don't mind the whole like weird thing it's doing right here but, you know, you gotta work with what you got. And this is basically what it looks like. It's like a white thing, and then you can draw stuff on it. So let me move the camera over here so y'all can get a better look at this. And I'm basically just going to be doing a Bob Ross painting, but on this. And that's gonna be pretty freaking epic. So now that paint is open, let me go ahead and make this a uh, bigger size. Uh, perhaps like this. Maybe a little bit like that. And that is usually what Bob Ross's style of paintings looks like. Yay! Ah, yes. This is where all the tutorials lie. Alright, guys, I picked one, and it's called Hint of Springtime. Now, this has a lot of the colors, so I just thought this would be kind of difficult. And it's going to be so fun. Alright, we've got the Bob Ross video right over here. Perfect, perfect. Let me just move this laptop over to you. Okay, so he's going to run all the colors across the screen. Okay, so he uses some alizarin crimson. Let's see how that looks when he puts it on there. Alright, so it's like this kind of a pink color. Okay, so we're just going to use little X's like he's doing and uh, make this look like a sky as best we can. Alright, so let's try and make a little lighter of our color because it comes out pretty toxic on the, on the canvas. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and uh, continue the video, shall we? Ah, oh, man. I wish I could be on the canvas right now. This would look so much better. Okay, start right up in, in here, making the little crisscross strokes, which sadly I can't do. Yeah, happy, happy, happy sky. Alright guys, I've gotten done with the water, so now I basically just gotta add in the sky a little bit better up here, kinda. Guys, this really is some amazing work. And so let's stop the video real quick. I know I'm not showing my face, but the next time if I ever do this, I will show my face. Just stay tuned, keep watching, cause it's gonna get good now. All right, about done with that. Let's tune in and see what's next on Bob Ross agenda. Okay, so he wants to blend it. No, I don't know if I can blend this. Uh, maybe if I like just go thinly over it, it'll blend. Oh my gosh, I think it's working. Yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, and that makes the shimmer effect, I'm guessing. Hopefully people know what that is. Alright, 
and now he's putting in some clouds. So let me take a look at how he does the clouds, honestly, because I don't really know. Okay, let me uh, choose a brush style. All right, so now that we're done with that, uh, we got to take a brush. Uh, I don't really know what color that looks. It looks a little like purple. So let me go in here, get to a purple-ish color. Kind of looks like this, but very dark. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So Bob Ross calls these floaters. Kind of what you get in your eyes whenever you're... Never mind, never mind. So he puts like one like kind of right here. Gotta have a straight hand for this, and I can't keep my hand straight ever. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Maybe down here. Ah, oh, man, this is hard. Okay, maybe down here. Oh, yeah. That looks like a cloud, doesn't it? Okay, I hope you guys like what we have so far, but now it's time for the interesting part. Let's, let's watch some more Bob Ross. Man, his looks so much better than mine. But I am using paint. So if I can make this look at all good, that's a that's a start. Alright guys, so now he's adding a cloud that goes kind of over the floaters. Look at all those clouds, guys. Yeah, so much depth. So now we're getting into my favorite part, which is the mountains. So we got to get a nice strong color uh, or a strong brush that makes it look good and just kind of, you know, create a mountain. So let's continue and see what he does. Guys, honestly, this is like exactly using a painter's knife because look, like it, like the blade is just like it. Woo! So I'm actually having pretty much fun with this. Whoa, let's do this thing. This mountain's going to look so good. This is getting, this is getting good, guys. This is getting good. So then he has one right, right here. Yeah. This is turning out pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Ooh, and then he has another little bump right here. And then he goes down like that. Okay. Good. All right. And then I know the next step because I've done Bob Ross before. So let's go ahead and get that dumb brush right here. Yeah. The base becomes pretty dang soft. So he says keep pulling it here. I gotta make the largest brush possible and then you just... You guys definitely aren't committed yet. I, I don't know why he says that. I don't really know what that means, but... That mountain looks so good. So now we're getting some titanium white, which this is gonna be fun because I will no longer have to worry about breaking the stuff myself because watch, it'll already break. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Ready? So then he goes like... Let me get the smallest one. Let's go on the first bump and just... Yeah, it's starting to look good. I don't know what happened here. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, follow along with what he's doing. I think I might need a little bit, of, a little bit of a bigger peak right here. It's actually kind of starting to look like a mountain a little bit, guys. It's pretty funny, actually. Now we need to add some highlights, like this spot has a highlight. Uh, this spot has a highlight. Okay, now that we're done with that part, we need to put a little bit of m a little bit more white on the tip and then go right down here. Why won't it turn white? No, first color, I want to be white. Okay, there we go. okay so now he's taking a little bit of the phthalo blue, which is this color. And he's making highlights, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
it's gonna be kind of cool so let's just let's go in here and just all right now so now he's making a trees with a kind of a darkish gray color so I have to go into edit colors and find a gray color make it a little bit darker so that it shows up ish and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this so when I figure it out I'll get back to y'all all right guys so I added the trees and now I'm gonna go into this color this dark color again and um, do the mountain thing because he has another mountain and uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do here we go uh, let's basically pl plop that in there. Okay, now that the rock's there, let me go ahead back into the white color and add the stupid little snow on it. All right, guys, so here's the finished product. Um, it looks okay. Um, I'm going to put it next to the Bob Ross one, and you guys can determine whether I did a good, on, good enough job. Hope you guys did enjoy this challenge. Um, if you guys did like this type of video, then I hope that you would want to see more. It's kind of dumb, though. All right, guys, here's the finished product. I'll put it up next to the other Bob Ross one, and I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, I sped it up, and... Uh, Alright guys, this is actually the finished product. I did some fixing up, and uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.